Hello everyone, this is Viren and welcome back to another marketing tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to cover creating lead generation ads on Facebook. To get started, let's click on create ads. Let's call the campaign lead generation and select lead generation ads. Now what lead generation ads does is that whenever a user clicks on the ad, it opens up a form within Facebook and you can create that form to take many different kinds of inputs from the user. The best part about these forms is that details like name, phone number, email ID is something that Facebook already has for every user. So the form is automatically pre-filled with these options and all the user has to do is click submit. Let's continue. Let's give my ad set a name. Um, let's call it page admins. I have to select a Facebook page and it's pre-selected at Virain Bear. That's my page. Please read and accept Facebook lead ad terms before creating your ad. So since we're creating this ad for the first time, lead generation ads, so we might have to agree to these terms and conditions first. Let's go ahead and create an audience. All right. The only reason I'm selecting Facebook page admins as one of my uh, targeting options is because if someone owns a Facebook page, I I feel they're more likely to want to consume my content where I can teach them about creating Facebook ads. Um, another alternate audience that was suggested to me by my friend, which is perfectly good as well, is to target co people in college who are studying marketing because even they will be interested in uh, learning about advertising on Facebook. So I could have created that audience as well. Let's exclude people who've already liked my page. Now, as you can see, the audience definition that I've created, the potential reach so far is about 1.7 million people. That's way too much. You might want to narrow down your audience a little bit more. Let's edit placements. So this is the latest update from Facebook where lead generation ads have started coming into Instagram as well. Uh, otherwise it would just be shown on the Facebook feeds. So we're going to go ahead and select both Facebook and Instagram. That's okay. Now let's select a daily budget of hundred. I would want to run my ad set continuously starting today. Optimize ad delivery for leads or you could optimize it for clicks. What this means is if you select link clicks, Facebook will probably deliver your ads to people who are known to click on ads within your audience. If you select leads recommended, they're going to show uh, your ads to people who are known to submit leads within the audience that you've selected. So let's leave it at leads because that is what we're looking at. Bid amount is automatic or manual. I'll leave it at automatic for now. When you get charged impressions. So the thing about lead ads is that you get charged for impressions. You get charged for just showing your ads to people. Let's run the ads all the time and the delivery type is standard. You could have changed it to accelerated, but I would, I would want it to be standard. Let's continue. Now let's create the ad. I'm going to select the ad format to be single image. And let's upload an image. Let's select one of the free stock images. Let's select, let's select this. Let's select this. 
the page is Virain. Um, I haven't connected my Instagram account to this yet, so that is why it's going to show my Facebook page on the Instagram ads as well. Now we'll have to add the headline, text, call to action, and news feed link description, which is this thing right here. So let's add that. There you go. I'm done creating the ad. I'm going to change the display to isbet.com. There is no tracking that I want to do so far. Lead form. Now you have to, have to actually create a form which will open up when the user clicks on the ad. So let's start by clicking on new form. Let's give this form a name. Now remember once you can save this form as many number of times you want and come back and edit it later. But once you click on finish, you will not be able to edit this form again. And if you want to edit anything, you will have to duplicate this form and create one all over again. You can create a welcome screen, which is optional. So let's go ahead and create one anyway. You can change this image or use the one that's already there in the ad. I'm fine with the one that's already there. Um, so there you go that's the welcome screen that I have made now questions this is the second part of the form where you have to select the questions that you need the user to answer so you can take any number of user information which is available to Facebook um, so I'm going to start with first name, last name. I'm taking their email IDs and sure I can also take their phone number. Oh, you know what? I think just first name and email ID would suffice for now. You can also add up to three custom questions. Fill in the question and write the kind of answers you're looking for and uh, but do remember that since these are custom questions it will not be pre-filled by facebook and the user will have to answer them in order to submit the form i don't need the question the custom question right now now one thing you will need when you're creating a lead generation ad is a privacy policy since you're collecting user information from facebook you will have to um, give them some sort of a privacy policy document as to how you're protecting their information. So, and finally, there's a thank you screen where once a user is done filling in the form, you can add in your website link and redirect them to your website. I'm all done with the form, so I can say finish. And there you go, this form is ready here and I can go ahead and place my order. The order has been placed and now I can come back to ads manager and look at my ad set. It's pending review right now, the results, reach, cost, same stuff as the previous ads. Now once users actually start filling in the form and you start receiving results, the leads where do you go to check your forms your leads we'll get into publishing tools on your page and and if you remember we had something called a form library here this is the form that we created and you could download the leads as soon as they start coming in you can create more forms from here itself instead of creating the forms while you're creating the ads you can see all your draft forms here when you're creating them and saving them to edit later. Lead setup is something new and very interesting. Once you've actually started creating lead generation ads, you don't even have to come to the forms library to download your leads. You can just connect it to any of the popular CRM softwares that you're using, CRM platforms that you're using, and your leads will get automatically imported to that platform. How cool is that? That's it for the lead generation ads tutorial. I hope you learned something new and please go back and create your own ads.
try creating different kinds of audiences, different kinds of ad creatives and see how each one of them performs.